I've just been reading a story. I wonder if it's a story that you know. It's the story of the very first Christmas. Do you know that story? I thought you might. Well, today we're going to bring you the nativity story, the story of that very first Christmas, brought to you by, at great expense, by the residents of the village of North Elmham and their friends. We do hope that you'll enjoy the story as they put it together. There are some things for you to do as well along the way, so be prepared to take, uh, to take part and you can even play the different characters if you wish. So without further ado, let us get on with the Christmas story. Are you receiving me? It's Planet Earth calling. Let me give you a spin. How do you like my blue oceans, my green land? God did a good job when he made me way back in the beginning. And that's where today's story starts, in the beginning. But first, I'm going to need some help from you. When I say each of these words, I need you to join in with an action. Love. Put your hands on your heart. Listen. Cut your ear. Friendship. Shake somebody's hand. Big hug. Give yourself a hug. In the beginning, when my sea sparkled and everything was new and clean, God made Adam and Eve the first human beings. As you can see, they were wonderful. Gaze and minds to know him, hearts to love him, and ears to listen to his voice. Guess how much I love you, said God. All the way around my planet Earth. That's a long way, I should know. In fact, God loved them so much that he made them a beautiful garden. God told them that they could eat of any tree in the garden except one. Not that one! If you eat of that tree, you will die, God said. He wanted to keep them safe, you see. Adam and Eve enjoyed the garden. God was their best friend and every day was perfect. But not for long, somebody wanted to spoil their happiness. And that somebody was God's enemy, Satan. Boom! Ooh, yes! Guess why God wouldn't let you eat of that tree, hissed the crafty old snake. He knows it will make you as clever as him. Go on, try it. You really die. Eve gazed at the fruit. How delicious, how scrumptious it would taste. Yum, yum! Stupendous to become so clever. She took a bite and so did Adam. How ashamed and miserable they felt and they tried to hide from God. One friendship broken. Snap! Those human beings spoiled everything when they disobeyed God. Nasty fords and thistles grew in my lovely soil. Ow! And worse still, those children of those human beings started fighting and hurting each other. And me! Ouch! You'd better leave the garden if you think you're better than me, God told them sadly. Now what will be that broken? And when you grow old, you die. Crash! Bang! What up? What would become of them? But God said, don't worry, planet Earth. I've got an awesome plan to rescue them. I'm going to send my son as a baby. I was puzzled too. How could a tiny baby help? God explained two kind people called Mary and Joseph from King David's family will look after him. God said that his son would remind the humans to love him and listen to his voice each day. And they would overflow with peace. 
I span with excitement. I couldn't wait for God's little world saviour to be born. So I watched and waited. But still those human beings went astray, just like a flock of lost sheep. He shook his head. Could it really be true? To that night, as he tossed and turned on his bed, the, an angel whispered into his dreams. So Joseph married Mary and took care of her.
when they got to Bethlehem, the, 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 the streets were busy. There, it was buzzing. In fact, it was bursting at the seams. And there was no room at the inn. But God knew only one person would say, do you want to stay the night if you don't mind my animals? Keeping them safe from hungry lions of bed. And suddenly an angel came, sparkling with heavenly glory. <laughs> Gabriel, guess how much God loves you. Your Christ the Lord has been born for you today in Bethlehem. Find the baby wrapped up in cloth and lying in a manger. Then a great choir of angels sang glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. <laughs> in the eastern sky. It was bright. It was light. It was a blinking bright. 
No wonder some wise men spotted it. Sign that a great new king has been born. Let's pack our saddle bags with rich gifts and go and worship him. shone as he followed the star. It, it stopped above the place where Jesus was saying, King of kings, we worship you. As they bowed down and offered him their precious gifts. Royal gold, sweet smelling, nose tickling frankincense and myrrh. Ah, oh, gold, frankincense and myrrh. What a lovely scene! I couldn't wait for Jesus to grow up and tell the crowd to love and listen to God's voice. And that's just what Jesus did. Then he did something even more wonderful. He lifted every wrong thing that anyone has ever done in, onto his own body and carried them right away. Anyone who is truly sorry will be forgiven. Anyone who wants to can be friends with God forever. So let's celebrate the birth of Jesus, our Saviour. This baby is a gift. Okay. With, with love, love from God to you. you. With love from God to you. With, with love, love from God, God to you. you. And so that brings to the end our nativity story here in the Bellman. But that is not the end of the story. God's story carried on. Jesus, the Son of God, who was born as a baby in Bethlehem, went on to grow up. And we may remember the Easter story. The story when Jesus died on a cross so we could all be forgiven for all the wrong things that we have done for you and for me. And then Jesus returned, uh, Jesus rose from the dead and returned to heaven. And although Jesus is in heaven, he is still with us through his Holy Spirit. And we find that a real comfort, particularly at this Christmas time when things are different than we would normally be celebrating. But as we celebrate this year, may we remember the story of this child in the manger and what he came for. And may we choose to worship him. Amen. Three, two, one. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Glad tidings we bring to you and your King. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.